growing up, even when I was drawing and painting and doing other types of graphic type of stuff, a lot of that stuff had to come into my imagination and then I would create it. When I found a camera and I started shooting, all those things that I saw, I was able to capture. The instant part of capturing a moment, I was able to show, okay, this is how I see things. Through photography, I'm, I'm learning a lot about myself. I didn't know yet at the time what I was taking pictures for. A lot of my pictures have this uh, light as, as, you know, main subject. And what it does for me is it, it highlights what I want people to look at. And then it hides all of the distraction and all of the mess that is in the background. You know, personally, uh, there were some emotions going through because of what my mom was going through. She was, uh, she had breast cancer and I needed something to, you know, get my mind off of things sometimes and to, and with relation to work was really to find my creativity again. Because that's where I'm, I'm happiest is when I'm building things or if I'm creating something. And, and luckily, you know, photography, it kind of saved me from uh, what I was going through at the time. Going out and shooting and, and the act of walking around and shooting was very relaxing and allowed me to think about things. That's why I call you know, my blog, on my blog it's called Street Zen uh, Walking Meditation. So that kind of helped me through that time. You know, thinking about the future now, that's what I'd like for people to get out of my photos is that, you know, to, to get that uh, emotional connection and maybe have an insight to, you know, who I was, you know, or who I am, because that's probably something I'm not as vocal about. I try to keep a lot of things, again, hidden in the shadows and then, you know, so maybe some of those things in the shadows might come out slowly and subtly in, in my pictures and they can connect to that and maybe affect their lives as well.